To write the name for FeOH2, we'll use these rules here. So the first rule is we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. That's iron. So Fe is iron, we write iron. Next, we write the name for the group of nonmetals, the polyatomic ion here. So you've either memorized that OH is the hydroxide ion, or if you're allowed, you can look it up. So we have the hydroxide ion. And so far, we have iron hydroxide. But iron is a transition metal. So when we have a transition metal, we look at what it's bonded to, either the nonmetal or the group of nonmetals in the polyatomic ion, to find that charge on the transition metal. So the hydroxide ion is always one minus, and we have two of them. So in order for this to all add up to zero, the iron has to be two plus. So to show that this iron has a charge of two plus, we put Roman numeral two between the iron and the hydroxide. That gives us the name iron two hydroxide. If we had iron three hydroxide, that would be FeOH3. This is Dr. B with the name for FeOH2. It's iron two hydroxide. Thanks for watching.